Hey, this is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to make icons float around on your springboard. Now, um, you can, there's a couple different settings, so I'll just show you them. So, let's get started. You're going to open Obsidia, and you're going to search for Gravity Board. And when you're here, you're going to see, if you don't have any sources, you're going to see the Big Boss one. And if you need some sources where you can get them, you can watch my video. I'll have in the description and right here. So, what you're going to need to do is obviously install this unless you, um, from a source, unless you want to pay for it. So, next, the gravity board is going to be located in your settings. So, you're going to open up your settings. You're going to scroll on to where it says gravity board. And here are your settings for gravity board. So, you have F to activation methods. Set it however you'd like, but try not to set it how another, like how something else is. So if you double press it and it automatically opens up City or something, you want to avoid using the double press method. So use whatever method suits you easily. And as you can see, there are loads of methods. So that's that. And some other settings are allow launching apps. So that means when your icons are bouncing around or floating around or whatever you want it to do, you will be able to launch them still. So your icon settings. This is just a couple just quick settings. Um, if you were set to default it'll look like this. I just set my bouncing this down since the frame rate on this is quite slow so I want you to be able to kind of see what's happening without them bouncing too much. So Next you have your finger mode. Now you don't have to do this but if you do it means if you touch your finger somewhere Without tapping on an icon, if you kind of like swipe your finger around, this is what it does. It's either an anti gravity well, which means it repel. That means the icons go away from where your finger is, and the gravity well, which means the icons will suck into where your finger is. I have an, an anti gravity well right now, and this is this is the sensitivity of it. The, if you set it all the way down, your finger won't do very much. If you set it all the way up, they'll be running for their life. So the last thing is gravity. This is probably the coolest feature of this. Now, um. If you have earth gravity, what that means is you can rotate your device, and what happens is the icons actually move like they're marbles on a flat, and like a flat board, and you rotate the board around to move the marbles, and that's the same thing that icons do. So I mean, it, it, this is a really, really cool thing. You can moon gravity, which means um, which means they'll be a little more floaty. Zero gravity means that they won't move at all unless you use your finger to move them. And custom, this is, you can set the gravity, as you can see right here. That's a little confusing though, so you can have fun with messing with the custom thing. So that's what you, that's that's the basics of how gravity board works. The gravity board. Now we can test it out. I'm gonna get it to a page that doesn't have very many icons. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate it. The way I activate it is by double tapping my home button. Now sorry if you can't see this very well because my screen my frame rate is pretty low. So here we go. I activate gravity board. Now you can see. They've all fallen down here. And if I rotate my screen, now they're falling this way. If I rotate it upside down, now they're all going over here. And I'm sorry that you can't see very well, but you'll just have to assume that they're working. It, 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 it's very, very smooth. So, And then you can um, just tap on any icon you want to open it up. And to, to undo this, you just tap the home button once, and boom. They all go back to where they were before. Now, this is a very, very cool tweak. I hope you enjoy it, and this is just, um, really, really cool. And make sure you can get it for free with a source. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.